Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video I'm going to be taking you through supply and demand zones, a couple of tips that you can use when using these zones and basically how I find these key zones in the markets. Now it's important to note that I don't use these um, just on their own, uh, you need multiple confluences with them. Um, also as well you need to note that trading is risky so when you're taking and looking at these um, supply and demand zones again add context around them. I use volume profile a lot in my analysis um, so uh, you can't really show these on MetaTrader charts, so I won't be showing you that today, but there are other forms of supply and demand. Um, so if you do want to check that out, you can check that out. Um, but essentially, I'm going to show you a real simple way to find uh, some supply and demand zones, and I'm going to start off here uh, with gold. Now, simply a supply and demand zone is just an area where price has got to a point and then reversed from that point okay so you know what i like to look for in particular a trend trading opportunity is so when the market is making higher highs and higher lows a demand zone is created for me uh, at the last bearish candlestick so let's say the bearish candlestick was towards the low i'd then be looking for the markets come into that zone for a move away okay and a quick example of that is just down through here so the first rule is to identify um, your previous kind of structure points um, and things like that so you can look at the sort of trend in the market okay let's actually find a bit of a better example just through here a lot of these are supply zones that i can see through there uh, but basically when price starts to form a new breakout or a reversal area you can find a demand zone so let's actually look at this kind of area just down through here okay so price comes into an area where the market is making lower lows and lower highs we consolidate price breaks out of that consolidation just through this area through here so what you can identify is because price has consolidated and made a breakout the last bearish candlestick before price made that breakout move or this nice impulsive move just through here is the area you want to identify and then when price enters this area once more okay you want to be looking for reversal opportunities what i mean by that is you can be looking for bullish price action at these points or you can be looking for lower time frame changes in trends so for instance here what we may find is that on a lower time frame price starts to change trend and make make higher highs and higher lows in line with this little outlook here okay so that's one way of finding a demand zone second way is you can identify obviously big crucial turning points so we can see in that same sort of example this area in here was a huge turning point for price okay so price came into this zone through there rallied to the upside we had quite a, a decent move away from it it was around about what was that 711 pips from this move price comes all the way back down to it and we get a reaction price rejects that previous price point and the market rallies up so another way of identifying a demand zone is by looking at relatively large impulses away from previous structure areas and looking for the price to then come back to those points now a nice supply zone area i can see is from this head and shoulders pattern but a supply zone is just the opposite to a demand zone if price is making a downward move you want to be highlighting the last bullish candlestick before price made that new low for an for a move to the downside alternatively or to add to that as well look for an area where price has moved significantly from so there's actually quite a large supply zone all the way up here around about the 2067 area so if price was to ever get back to this point i'd imagine a lot of selling could come back in uh, there at some point in the future but you can see here the market forms a head and shoulders pattern get a nice breakout to the downside break of low forms here or break of structure what i want to do is identify the last bullish candlestick before price made that new low which is just through there so i'm going to extend that out just through here okay and we can see that price then came back into that structure area okay tried to break out of the uh, supply zone highs 
rejected it. Again, if you were looking at a lower time frame at this point, it could have offered you a potential opportunity on a change of trend, okay? So if you look for another big supply zone as well, let's try and see when there was a huge turning point in the market because what we probably could look for is if I go to a daily time frame here and just move across, you can probably look for the previous zone just through there. So what I like to identify, as you can see here, last big move to the downside is the previous high, okay? And you can see if I just identify all this area through there, look what happens. So if I zoom out a little bit, huge selling pressure coming from this point, big, big move to the downside, all coming from around about this $2,070 level on gold. Look what happened when we recently retested that. Lots of selling pressure coming back into the market. So supply and demand zones, you can use them in a couple of different ways. So the first way is in a trend trading situation when price is making those higher highs and higher lows. Highlight the last bearish candlestick before price makes the new high. That can offer you a demand zone. On the supply zone side of things, if price is making lower lows and lower highs, identify the last bullish candlestick before price makes that new low. Look for the opportunity to potentially to move to the downside. On key reversal areas, look for big turning points in the market, okay? Now these big turning points in the market often are areas um, of significance and they won't get tested as much as the trend based ones essentially so you have to keep an eye on those ones um, but basically you can see big levels of areas where price has big moves away can often lead to similar things happening once again so hope you enjoyed this supply and demand video if you did leave a, a like and a comment uh, was this something that helped you what would you like to see in the future as well? And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like and a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more Forex trading content. And I'll speak to you in the next video.